Uh, welcome back to the MA77 Design Tutorials. Um, today we're going to be looking at SolidWorks and in particular the Circles and Arcs tool. Um, this is used for creating uh, curve geometry or circles uh, which we can then uh, feature drive into either extrusions or sweeps and lofts etc. Okay so we will get going with the circles first. Uh, there are two types of circle. You have the basic type of circle, uh, which is just the center circle, and you have a perimeter circle as well. And so the center circle, you click and drag, and you see that your first click is the center, and that the second click is on the perimeter, which then creates the overall diameter. Uh, the second type of circle is perimeter circle. It's a little bit different. You click three times and the three points um, give the overall dimensions of the circle so I'm gonna click, I wanna click there first of all and then I'm gonna drag it up to there and then I'm actually gonna say right I actually want it a little bit over there, make it a little bit bigger and there we go, there we have our two types of circles and then we can ooh, overlap them there. So I'll just go over that again. We have a center circle where we click and we drag out to create the radius which then gives us our overall diameter and we have a perimeter circle where we will click three times so we will click once and you can see that the first click is actually on the edge of the circle so you can rotate it all the way around make it as big as you want. You click again that's your second position and then the third position is basically altering its position or changing the overall diameter of it. Okay, so that is our circles. So I'm just going to select them and delete them. And then the next thing that we have is arcs. There's three types of arcs. There is the center point arc, there is a tangent arc, and there's a three point arc. At the center point arc, um, you click first of all and then you drag out and the second click will determine the radius of your arc so I'm going to say I want quite a big radius arc about 70 mil so I'll click there and then you actually pull the cursor around and you can see that it is creating an arc so I'm saying right I want my arc to be about 90 degrees and you can see that we have an arc there. The second option is tangent arc. Now a tangent arc requires pre-existing geometry to work to. So if I just click anywhere, uh, we have this error message that says select an endpoint or a sketch, uh, sorry, select an endpoint of a sketch segment. Uh, thankfully we have two endpoints. We have one there and one there. And I'm gonna select this one. And if we click and drag, you can see that the start condition is a nice tangent, so it's a nice smooth curve. And I'm going to drag it over there. And then you can see, yet again, it's going to create another tangent at the start. And then we can just create a series of tangent arcs. So that is tangent. Well, that's actually oh, right there need to reposition we can see that we've got a nice smooth curve all the way around and the last option is a three-point arc now a three-point arc is you define the uh, two end points first and then you specify uh, the radius or the diameter of it so we will click there and I'm saying I'm going to drag it out there I'll keep it horizontal and then we can drag the arc out, we can drag it up or we can drag it down. So I'm going to leave it so it's a slight arc. And there we go. That is a very brief overview of the circles and arcs. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comments box. And don't forget that you can uh, like us or follow us on Facebook and Twitter. The links are just below this video. Uh, well, we hope you've enjoyed it and uh, we will see you soon. Thanks.